Well, Newburgh residents are going to start to see more police on the streets following this violent shooting that sent four teens to the hospital this week. News 12's Jonathan Gordon outside the Newburgh Police Headquarters now with more on that. Jonathan. Yeah, you want an idea of just how seriously the city is taking this issue? Everyone from the mayor, police commissioner, there was members of the FBI. They were all here today to announce this new major initiative. It is a gun violence task force, which they say will help them fight back against a massive surge in shootings. Violent crime is up in Newburgh, about 20% so far this year. We're talking about nearly 100 confirmed incidents involving gunshots, according to the city's police department. Really, the tipping point was Wednesday afternoon, where four teens were shot near the corner of William Street and Carson Avenue. Three of them shot in the leg. One had a couple of gunshot wounds to the stomach. Of the four, three have been released uh, from the hospital. One is still uh, in the hospital. The shooters, the suspects, still remain at large. Police are renewing their efforts in hotspot policing to target high gun violence areas, and they plan to expand visible police presence on the streets to, to deter these crimes. It is time for us to take charge of our city. This is our youth. This is not people from outside coming here. This is us creating this trauma to ourselves. Now, this incident prompted the Newburgh School District to close down three of its campuses at the Newburgh, uh, the Newburgh Free Academy. And now we have just learned that after shutting them down for the rest of the week, students will be returning to the classrooms on Monday. We're in Newburgh, Jonathan Gordon, News 12.